What are you doing? Oh, I'm feeding Sayla some almonds and they're full of uh, vitamin E. What? So, for anybody watching this video later... How did you know I was videotaping you? Well, when, when you ask me a question like that, I know that you're, that, that you're probably filming. And, but for anybody watching this video later, horses need vitamin E. And unfortunately, a lot of the hay that they get is debased, meaning it's lacking critical vitamins and minerals that horses need. And so the way they get those minerals and vitamins is either you supplement or you can feed them almonds that you get at your local grocery store. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You're pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, and, and then don't worry, she's not going to bite me. She's just nuzzling them out of my hand. Show me what else you can do with her. Well, I can also make her follow me. Let's see. Let's see if she'll follow you. Micah, turn around and come back. There's hay up here, so she went for the hay. Oh, I wonder if she's not following me. But normally she does. Yeah, normally she'll follow me. Normally she'll 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 be like bumping okay, into me, go, not in a mean way. Go but... find her and show me how you groom her. When you're grooming horses, you want to stay at their side because a horse's eyes are on the side of their head. And this way she can see me and she knows that I'm here. And you want to start at the neck just to just to get any dirt or any any anything out of their neck. And then you can move to the shoulders and what I learned from the incredible uh, 4-H horse group teacher, Mary, uh, Mary Laporte, is you always want to keep one hand on the horse, especially for me because I can't see her at all. Okay. So I stroke her with one hand mm -hmm. and then I brush her with the other. And this way I have constant contact. So if she moves or if she kicks out at you know another horse i can feel what she's doing and and always stay at her side so i don't get hurt do you ever brush her leg oh yeah you, you can brush her leg show I mean, me how you do it all right you just have to want to again stay at their side and it may sound counterintuitive but you want to you want to actually be close to them even though you're at their leg because if i were to stand back she could swing that leg out and that leg could get a lot more that, that leg could get a lot of air time and it could really hurt me that's really cool micah so again i'm just going to stand probably do this with my hand the stand at her side i'm going to be right up against her so that so that she can't swing that leg out because again if she were to if she were to get scared like if, if, if I were to stand back, if she were to get scared and kick out, she could just hit me immediately. And, so and show me how you her. get her, do the other side, show me how you walk around her. All right, so again, the same general rule, especially for people like me, you want to keep your hand on the horse, just trail her around. And so now, I'm at her other side, and again, same thing, stay right near her. That way, she can't swing out it's very 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 important oh, whoa, whoa. see there I, I i was right on her she could have hurt me but since i was right next to her her, her head that time couldn't get very much leverage yeah it's okay girl. it's okay it's okay she's 
He's been a little scared today, so I'm not surprised by what just happened. It's okay. So how you finish doing up that side of your body? Right, so then Show I, me how. I, I have to turn around because you want to stay kind of a little bit away from the leg when you're, when you're brushing. Because you, I don't want to... And, and if, I, if I bend down too much, my head is going to be right in the path of that leg. And again, I'm only... I'm doing this by feel. I don't have to see anything. Now, of course, seeing what, you know, seeing what the horse is going to do or, you know, seeing if it's looking, a certain, you know, looking at you a certain way does give you an advantage, but I don't need that because as long as I keep this hand on her body, I can feel what she's doing. Okay, Micah, do me a favor. Yeah. Hand me the brush. All right. And then I want you to go back to her and okay. then walk around her correctly. And then show me how you would ask her for her front hoof. When you want to ask for a hoof, again, you stand as close as possible. Actually, I'm, here we go. So now, this bottom uh, tendon right here, right down near heel. There you go. Oh, Good girl. I, 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 I didn't even have to press it. She knew what I wanted, and she gave it to me. Very good, Micah. Good girl. Good All right. Girl. That's awesome, Micah. You have anything else you want to say? I'm going to... Well, Turn I, off I, the... I hope this video can help anyone um, on Facebook or or wherever it's posted, Instagram. If you want to get in contact with me and ask me more questions about how I how I uh, work with horses blindfold or uh, blind blindfolded, uh, well, blindfolded <laughs> too, right? <laughs> well, yeah, blindfolded too. But <laughs> you can contact me at. Uh, lowercase m i c a h g r a u e l at gmail.com or feel free to call me at 805 206 1195 and I'd be more than happy to give you more information on how I work with horses completely blind. All right, thanks, Micah. Uh, you're welcome. I mean, I, 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 I don't mind if people contact me.